All right, I planted some broccoli sprouts. You saw me do that last video. It was three days ago. I took them, set them inside here. Haven't done anything to it. Haven't even checked them. So it's gonna be the first time in three days that we're gonna check it. Now, a traditional way of growing microgreens, you're gonna to have to go in once or twice a day and water them. So if you have time to do that, excellent way to grow. If you don't, like me, I'm on the road all the time. This is the way to go. Plus, like my last video, I said uh, in a few days, I'm gonna take off for a whole week. So still be able to grow microgreens when I'm away. Let's check these out, I'll bring you in. there all right let me bring you in closer you can see these are still in the dark no lights I cut the lights on in a minute but I just want to show you that how we do it all right ready there we go that's one that's two it's kind of weird. It looks like that one's growing a lot faster than that. And these are both put in here at the same time. Let me get the lights on. All right, now we get the lights on. Brand scrub lights. Uh, these are great. Everything's not purple. I'm able to film and still get a true sense of what the color is. So I love these lights. But let's check it out. Like I said, this looks a little. I don't know why this is. Maybe Seth got the fan going here. Maybe this one stayed cooler. You can feel the fan blowing right there. And then this one's behind it. Maybe that one stayed a little warmer. So maybe the warmth inside of there made those germinate a little faster because we did those at the same exact time. So, it's interesting. If you look here, you can see the water bubbles right there, right there. So it hasn't used hardly any. The paper towel goes all the way to there. But it still can soak up some uh, water, moisture. Um, I'll put you in real close so you can see. I don't think there's, with that little bit of vermiculite on the top, you know, now it's up here. You know, so as it grows, I think you'll be able to just brush on your microgreens and it'll fall off. But you can see there's, I don't really see any mold. What we'll do is in a couple of days, we'll take this outside and actually film the whole thing down in there. Or I'll actually do that now. Let's go take these outside and we'll take a good look at them. And I'll bring them back in, set them up here, let them go. Um, this is day three. I'm gonna let it go down a couple more days. And when I go to leave town, I'll fill it completely up. And then we'll leave town and we'll see how they do. Look at that, the roots pushing that hemp mat up. But now it's time to set these back under the lights. Now it's time to just let those go. Like I said, when I go to leave town, I'll make sure I fill it all the way back up before I take off, but we're gonna see how that goes. Oh, also, remember my last video where I said that as these grow bigger, that the middle might not get as much water because this is soaking up here, the wick on both sides. These, as they get bigger, they'll start to soak up a lot of the moisture and these in the middle won't get as much. And I said you might wanna spritz it in the middle. And somebody gave me a good idea on how I might take care of that problem. So, that'll be the next video. Y'all subscribe so you don't miss out.
get out of here. Alright, don't forget, lift and inspire, keep on growing. I love you all.